George here and uh, this is blocks number three and today we're going to talk about how you actually use them. Uh, you know, so far all we've been doing is using them in the same drawing. Well, it would be nice to have them as a library and be able to use them over and over. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you one way of doing that today. And then on the uh, next video, I'll show you how to actually install it into the actual library. Um, okay, on the, uh, and it looks like I got a cat here that wants to get in on the audio. Um, okay, what I've done is I've uh, made two more typical nut pitchers. One of them for a number four bolt, and one of them for a number eight. And... Uh, what I did was I used the number six, then I uh, exploded it, I copied it, then exploded it, modified it, and then I uh, created the new blocks here. And I used the same naming convention that I did before. So that is our page that we're going to use. Now let's say that we want to create a drawing. And as you know, I recommend that you do everything one-to-one -one scale and then you size up and down the border to make it fit for the paper that you got. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I will minimize this and go to the standard border that I've had way back there in the uh, video called LibreCAD Scaled Borders. And this border will print two to one. Uh, in other words, one inch of paper will be a half inch of an object. And all I've done with this border compared to what I did back in that video was that I did that one on black black background, so I changed the colors. So we'll turn off notes. And now we'll want to import from the previous drawing. And the way I will do that, let's minimize, let's make this thing a little smaller. We'll move it off to the side. Now we'll minimize it go back to this drawing and let's say I think I may be one all, all of these so what I will do is up here with this copy and now I will select everything on this drawing and I got to find select everything okay continue reference point will make it down here about the corner Okay, now it's put into a memory. We're ready to paste it on our drawing. So I'll go to the drawing. And I will paste it. And right here is the paste thing. And we'll paste it about right here. Notice I pasted it off the drawing. And there was a reason for that. Uh, now I can actually, I have all of the all of the items but I also when I copied and paste I put my uh, insert point so I'll remember where it is even though it's not part of the blocks and I also have that additional information so I have everything there and until I complete the drawing uh, I have all the info over here then I'll delete that so when I size the drawing it uh, just print the part that's within the within the uh, tick marks Hey, let's say I want to put a number four nut on this, and uh, I'll just throw that there. That's a side. I actually want to do a face. And why is it not doing it? up okay now we know what not to do <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and delete all let's delete those three undo 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 okay turn off notes but we'll go into now that we've pasted these we'll go into nuts okay and now I want to do nut face anyhow so I'm gonna do a number four nut face and I've got it pasted. 
Okay, one of the things I was curious about when I brought this thing in was did it remain to scale? So we will do a quick dimension on this thing. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll do that to this side, to this side, the opposite faces. And it's a quarter inch, and that's exactly what it should be. Um, so everything came into scale. Everything is hunky-dory by doing everything one-to-one -one on the drawing, and then use your border to, to scale up or down to print. Uh, you're able to uh, use these things over and over and over. Okay, I got curious. So, and you know what curiosity does. So, we will do a restore down on this. This one, I scaled up to uh, millimeters. So, 12.7 millimeters is one inch on the paper. Uh, it's mixed units, but that's because our printers are scaled in inches here. So, we'll again turn off notes. Uh, we'll let it go to whatever layer it wants to go to. We will now import, and I should should still be on the uh, scratch pad here, or whatever they call it. Yeah, it is. So we imported that, so we now have all of the uh, drawings there. And now we're going to do a, we're going to go to nuts for my layer. We're going to go to nut face. We'll do a uh, insert. It's inserted and now I want to do a dimension on this this one is all scaled into uh, millimeters I'm going to do a scale on it again let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing And 6.35 millimeters, which is exactly one quarter of an inch. So it worked. Again, even though I am using completely different units, it brought the drawing in and it's scaled to fit exactly right. And that actually surprised me. And there are times that I could be designing something in metric units, but I'm going to be using these American size uh, nuts and bolts. I'm not sure if that same size is used worldwide or not, uh, but anyhow, since we're confused in units, we have to kind of deal with both. Um, anyhow, you see now that all of the uh, blocks, I have a little picture over here on the side that lets me know where the insert point is, gives me the additional information, and then if I wanted to print this thing, let's just go ahead and do a print preview. And we're going to print it two to one. Yeah. It's messing with me here. Okay. And we move our paper over till it fits right in our um, tick marks. Go to black and white and our drawing would work. We'd have our border. We'd have everything we needed. And these over here would not be printing, so we could just leave them sitting there if we wanted to. If we want to get rid of them, we can, because we now have them over here. As a matter of fact, let's do that to prove that it can be done. So let's get out of the print preview. And now I will go to delete. Say we're at the end of the drawing. We delete those. They're deleted, but I still have all of the uh, blocks over here if I need them. And I could delete the extra blocks if I wanted to make the drawing a little bit smaller. Let's say that I'm done with it. I just make sure I don't delete the ones that I want to, want to have displayed up here. So let's say I could delete number 8 nut face. 
because we're not using it and everything's still hunky dory so that's one way of using them uh, in the next audio or next video I'll show you how to install them which is a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, show you how to install them in the uh, say view toolbars in this library browser over here to the side uh, as you can see I've tested already uh, I have some nuts in there but uh, things are going to be a little funny right there so we'll talk about that on the next one appreciate you listening uh, this is Gary Fox of Create and Make hopefully you got something out of it